Hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about uh, integration of Tableau and Slack. So in my last video, I talked about how do we uh, start with integrating Tableau and Slack, uh, like creating uh, Slack app and getting the details to integrate that in Tableau. So in this video specifically, I will be showing you a demo on how to integrate uh, Slack in Tableau and see the Tableau notifications in Slack in action. So let's get started. I have a Slack app and Slack workspace in which I had installed this Tableau app. So where did I get this Tableau app from? So I went into the documentation that Tableau has put up. So I have followed these steps to create a Slack app in Slack and then use these details like client ID, client secret and redirect URL in Tableau server to set up the integration. So let me go to my Tableau server, go to settings, go to integration tab. So see, I have already connected Tableau and Slack. Let me disconnect it and connect it back again. So click connect. When I select connect, it pops me up to select the workspace on which Tableau app is installed. Now this will ask me to allow the app for my tablet server so i'll click allow okay so our integration with tableau and slack is set up so now what do i have to do i need to check what are the functionalities uh, that we use in tableau we'll get notifications in slack so first uh, you can share the web content in slack so what is the web content it is a project folder. So let's see if I share a project folder. Click share. I'll get a notification in Slack. See, I got the notification that a project folder has been shared. So what else I can share? So I can share even the workbook, the complete workbook. So I can share this complete uh, regional workbook click share so i'll get a notification see i have been shared this complete workbook so whenever you share a complete workbook it will give me a thumbnail but i cannot see more details in the thumbnail but it is an information that okay something has been shared with me I'll get a notification in Slack. Also, I'll get a notification in an email that uh, this content has been shared with me. So even I can share a visualization. So I will I will go into the workbook and I can share a single visualization. I'll share with me. So I'll get a notification here in Slack that, that a visualization has been shared with me. So apart from these, you can uh, share a workflow, uh, a Tableau prep flow, or a published data source. Okay, you can even share a data source. So these are the contents whenever we share with someone else in our Tableau environment, they'll get notifications. So who will be able to receive the notification? Who will receive the notification? So only those who have Tableau license, so only the licensed users will be able to receive the notifications. So Tableau uh, takes care of the security. Uh, it will not allow uh, to send the email to those who do not have license. license. Okay, so let's see what else we can um, share in the Tableau uh, Slack notification. So let me go into the visualization and check one of my visualization. 
I can set up the data alerts and if the alert is rich, um, reach a certain threshold level, it will give me a notification in Slack. So let me select this axis and select the alert. So I create an alert. I'll say if the threshold is greater than 0 0.07 or 0 0.08, send me an alert. So we have already reached the threshold level. So it will immediately click an alert to me. So let me go to my Tableau Slack app. You can see that I received an alert that uh, my metrics has reached certain threshold. So I got the alert with the clear visualization here. Also, we can mention someone in comments. So let's say I mentioned myself in the comments, I'll receive the notification in Slack. See, I got the notification, but here we just get the thumbnail, we'll not be able to see the complete visualization. So if you want to share someone, uh, the good view, the graphical, uh, a view uh, of you know the good graphics good visualization the, the complete snapshot of our visualization then you can click on add snapshot snapshot and select their name and mention their name to type at that and type some comments these details and uh, post the comments. So whenever you post the comments, you get notification in Slack with the clear snapshot or with good graphics of the visualization. So that's it for today. Uh, stay updated. I'll continue to post uh, on more topics. So until then, thank you.